Hello, oh, good afternoon. Welcome to MK Community Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain to you about the brokerage agreement with Brokerage Corporation. Now, this is also one of the agreements you've seen in my video. I have other agreements uh, with other insurance uh, companies or agencies. Uh, this is also one of them. So, uh, if you don't understand this one, you can also watch the other videos as well that I have with insurance uh, carriers and with the contracts and everything. So basically this is the brokerage agreement. Um, what this means is whenever you join an insurance carrier or agency, they want you to uh, basically fill out an insurance agreement with them. So just in just in case if you understand the rules of regulation, for example, if you terminate them, if you, they will give you notice. If they terminate you, they will give you notice, uh, such and such. So that's what it is. So these are some of the brokerage agreement. Basically, you put in your information over here between you as principal, location, address, and everything. Obviously, that's one of the agreements is. Uh, it will, you can read this list on your own. I can't. I won't go over. It's too many lists to go over. But obviously, like let's use number sample number six. Brokerage understand they agree that it shall not receive commission or any premium referred to PBC of the or the carrier direct collection. I mean, these are some of the agreements you can read into on your own. Obviously, but this is some of the uh, some of their contract rules that a person has to follow if you're using the brokerage corporation. Obviously, everyone else has their own rules of regulation. Every insurance carrier has their own rules. Just like any other, uh, uh, you know, obviously, like you'll have your own rules when you open up your business and everything. It's the same thing with them. So they, you have to follow their rules and make sure you understand them. Whatever you don't understand, you can always contact them and they will always help you out. It's not a problem. So once you sign, uh, once you fill out the the, the the first page, you come back to the third page, which is this one. You put your name, your broker name, by title, PBC, by title. Once you fill that out, you basically submit, uh, submit this application. The only part is they might ask you for... For let's say if they need um, let's say if they need uh, errors in emission coverage they want to ask you for that if not then they you know like it all it all depends mostly insurance carrier they'll ask you for errors in emission insurance they'll ask you for basically uh, a copy of your insurance license obviously if you're, you're individual if not individual your business as well and once you have that and that's about it that's all they want um, so basically that that uh, that concludes this end of the video uh, if you guys have any other questions comment concern about this or any other thing please feel to comment in my video i'll try my best to come back to you as soon as possible uh thank you for taking the time for watching this video and i hope you guys have a wonderful day